Hi everybody, Robert here with more Inventor Train. Today we're going to look at creating that second part for our assembly we're going to create. So I'm going to start to the sketch and I'm going to select the XC plane here. Let's just bring this to the top. I'll rotate it that way. Okay, so first of all I want to just create a circle here for this piece. And it will be two and a half inches. Okay, and I want to escape out of that now. And then I've got two holes in this piece right here. So I'm going to draw a hole right here, a circle, a hole, and it's going to be half inch diameter. Okay, and then I want to create another one. I want to, first of all, let's do a mirror, a, a, a center line here. So we'll select the center line command here. Get into it. I'm going to do line and I'm going to center line. Okay, and I want to create a line right here. And I'm going to escape out of that. And I want to create another one here. Center line. And I'm going to line from here to here. This is for mirroring purposes because you can't mirror without a center line. So from this point on, I want to go here and I want to mirror this. Actually, let's cancel that and let's just uh, go ahead and finish our sketch. I'd rather just draw this here. So let's go draw. I'm going to do another 1.5 inches. And now we want to constrain this. We want to go from this point to our center. I'm sorry. From the center point here. This will be 1.75. I'm going to escape out of this, and then I'm going to go back to my center line here and just lock this guy. Uh, I think we lost one. Of, I don't think we're going to need that one. So let's go ahead and just constrain this one. So from this point to here, we want to make this 1.75 as well. Okay, so now there's our our holes for this piece. So the next thing I want to do, I'm going to just draw a line. So if I can find a tangent point, I'll just draw a line from here to here. I want to remove this because that's a toggle. And I'm going to just draw a line from here to say right here. I'm going to escape out of that and I want to remove this line here. So now we want to take this line, let's do a construction line here. I mean, a center line. And we want to draw one to this point. So this is for mirroring. Okay, we want to undo that. Or we want to escape out of it. We can do this as well. We can right click here. We can call it center line. Okay, wait a second here. Okay, uh, I want to just delete this. I don't know what's going on there. I want to draw another line here. This is going to be a center line from here to here. Okay, now I want to draw a line right here. Let's say this can be sort of anywhere because we don't know for sure. Just going to push it right about there. And I want to make this a line. Remember that guy has a toggle, so I want to just delete this out. That'll happen a lot. You'll forget. So you got to turn this guy off here and create a line. And let's just go from here to about right there. So from this point, I want to mirror this. 
and I want to select the line, this line, and I'm going to say apply, and it's done. So now right here, I need a, a let me see here, I want a radius here of three and a quarter, three quarters of an inch. So let's see if we can do the arch, three point arch. And let's make this 0.75. Okay, and I want to escape out of this, that looks good. So now what we want to do here on this point, we want to grab everything. We want to mirror it. And we've got everything selected, so then we want to select our mirror line, which is that. Apply, and done. Okay, so now we have our, our piece. And so at this point, I think we're good. But this circle we don't need right now, so I'm going to just trim this out. There. So there's our shape. So at this point, I want to finish my sketch. I want to go to my 3D view home, and then I want to extrude this. Select this, and this is going to be a half inch. And as well here, and there's our bottom of this feature. So I'm going to say OK here. So now we need to add another sketch on top here for the up the, the this other portion. So I'm gonna right, I'm gonna go here. We wanna go create a sketch. And we'll just go to the top of this and I'll rotate it. And I'll go a circle here. And for this point, I wanna go 2.5 inches. Because this is on the top. And then I'll do another circle here. On the center point, and this will be uh, two inches. So at that point, I think we're good there to finish this sketch. So I'm going to finish sketch here. And then I want to extrude this. And I want to make this, uh, let's see, what's this distance? We'll leave that at one inch for now. And, and it's a cut. No, we'll leave it at one inch and we'll say OK. So now we got to do another, draw another one on this face with this next opening. It's got to clear it straight through. So to do that, we'll just go here and we'll create a sketch on this surface here. Then I'm going to do another circle. And this one is going to be two. Now this one is going to be uh, I'm going to bring it in another quarter of an inch. So I'm going to bring this. This is going to be 1.5. Okay. And then also, I'm going to do, I'm going to take this line here and escape out of this. I'm going to do an offset. I'm going to offset this line right here. Uh, 0.25. And then I'm going to finish sketch and now I want to select. I'm going to extrude this. And I'm going to bring this up three quarters of an inch. Okay. So now we need to clear this guy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this one if I can. I'm going to, oh, sorry, cancel that. I'm going to go here. And then what I want to do, I need another opening actually right there. So I'm going to select this guy. 
I think I might be able to edit this. Yeah, let me edit this guy. No, I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll take this guy here and I'll edit this one. Okay, that's all good. So I'm going to cheat on this, guys. If you had a better way to do it or something I missed, let me know. So I'm just going to do another sketch. And I'm going to do it right here. Because we need to open this guy up. And we're going to make this one uh, 1.5 as well. And then I'm going to finish the sketch. And we're going to select extrude. But this one is going to be a cut. And I think that's all the way through. I'll we'll say OK. So there we go. There's our, our next piece that we created here. So what we want to do now is we want to go and change these materials. So for one, we'll go down and we'll call this one. Wow, what's going on here? Just choosing one. Oh, I don't know what that is. Uh, we'll go with, oh, that's galvanized here. And then for extrusion two, we'll go galvanized as well. I don't know how I got a form work, but And then next use in three, we'll do galvanized as well here. So hey guys, thanks for watching, and we've got this next piece created. Um, now what we need to do, I didn't tell you in the last video, we need to save this because we got to bring it back. Um, so what we want to do now, we want to. This is our next piece. So from here, we want to do a file. This is going to be saved as, and we'll call this piece our bearing. So just go bearing here. And we want to save it. So hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next video. Continuing on with our inventor uh, training. So thanks for watching and please subscribe. See you in the next video and everybody be safe. Bye.